Not being prepared for Wii Fit in deep breathing at near max rage is goodbye. <laughs> I mean, the average player might not know what to expect, but anyone who comes around these parts should know by now. Alright, Fon putting on the Jin Kazama. Let's get Gotta get that power up, that's what I'm talking about. Fon's been playing a lot of Tekken. She plays Nina. Yeah, Nina's arguably a top five character now. She's arguably top three. <laughs> You know what? I would not be. I would not be averse to that either. Did that? D d oh, huh? Huh? No. What? What? So first the can did not collide with him, with numbers, and then he just missed the ledge. Yes. We're definitely going to get a replay it like on he, that. Looks like he bounced off the stage. Yeah, I've, like, I've seen that happen before. Yeah. Very rarely, but it's so annoying when it does. But yeah, it happens. It sucks, but it happens. Bon is definitely oh. just like, oh, okay, I'm gonna stock up. Wait. I mean, yeah, you take this to the bank. Right? All right. Numbers is now down a stock in a weird instance. Like, I am going to apply this pressure by simply holding Fire. the lead. All right, trying to find that extra pressure. Holding steady with the can. Can just doing so much in terms of like blocking header or block. Woo! Missing. She was barely, and I mean, near miss. Barely. A frame away from hitting that. Right. Fawn's been big on up air. I mean, she's always been like kind of big on setting up juggle situations because they're good. But I've been seeing Fawn like more emphasize like uh, today lately. Like I'm going to try and hit and combo them into up air rather than a forward air or a back air. The up air do be hitting. Yeah, be hitting harder than that attack might lead you to believe. I know the duck is like biting with its crazy duck teeth, but good lord. That advantage state was crazy. By yeah, there the way. was uh, like that was. There were very limited options. Let's say, down, oh, the up air instead of the nair to force out the. I thought the I thought it was a down air coming. I mean, Fawn would have. Fawn definitely wishes it was, given that numbers didn't press any buttons. The up smash coming down, and remember this. This started with a numbers SD, and he just he just took it all back. He'll find a way. If, it, if it's at the local, he will always find a way. Always finds a way. Oh, the coverage there was insane, but it just doesn't end in the stock. Barely closing yeah. out the stock with Can at 180. Yeah, it looked like he might have been able to lift that otherwise. Maybe, yeah. Oh, there's that. Some of these immediate timings, those four tilts that you oh, got to be ready boy. for. It's almost like John Frank kills you. Maybe we'll. Maybe I'll think about that a little bit later, but we've got an end of a end of a game one to go to. These cans are not doing Fawn any favors as the landing forward air comes down, and I like that a lot. Like uh, I like how We Fit tried to pet the dog. It's just like here, let me let me give you a high five. Dog. Oh, whoops, you're dog. gone. Dog dot pet. Yeah, do we get the replay on that? Yeah, we do. We do. We always do. So f numbers is oh, no, no, a little bit a little bit later. A little bit later game. Come Yoink. Back. So Numbers does this forward air. Pa! And what I love about it is like whether Look you- Look where that hit too. Yeah, either Numbers finds the hit or because he's fast falling, he's able to do another- Oh man, that arrow was terrible. He, he's able to buffer yeah. another landing forward tilt as well. And just like consistently reset the same situation to cover both no option or fast fall air dodge. Like yeah. He's playing around two likely scenarios and trying, instead of trying to cover consistently as much as possible. And now here comes Fawn's other try and true character as of recent. Yeah, she's been having a lot of fun with Climax. They're a fun character, like unironically. This is probably, like of all the iterations of Climbers we've had, like in various games, is probably the best direction they've been taken so far. Because they can still do the crazy Twitter clip stuff, but they can also play neutral, by which I mean Squall wins the neutral. Yeah, yeah I mean, you can press side B and down B. And, I feel and they get good. a lot of cool, interesting interactions that aren't related to grabbing and grabbing. Yeah, it's a... And handing off and then grabbing some more. Yeah, grabbing's still good. But, yeah, everything's Ooh. more centered about, like, preemptive desyncs rather than post-haste yes. desyncs, which is generally a lot more interesting given the climber's mm -hmm. just native design. Like, weird 
hybrid between like combination and puppet. Character. And I still think I still think climbers are largely unexplored because obviously at the biggest level we really only have like Big D doing it. Who God bless has been yeah. doing his best since Brawl. There's a couple of local climbers. I know uh, Seal in Jersey. Yeah, is we have Seal as well. Is uh, Jersey, New York, whether he ends up being at any time, like he's really good. Uh, but yeah, there's just not not as many climbers. The character's still fun. The character's still wild though. We need them to revolutionize the meta. Oh. Do we? Yeah, like, I on. mean, re relative relative to before. I mean, this character's still got a lot of stuff going on, though. Like, he, I know that they are unexplored just by the nature of them being so strong, uh, uh, being uh, so complex. Yeah. But man, oh man, is it hard to say that they're unexplored given how much people have found off of throws, off of ledge trump setups. I still only know like a couple of guaranteed decent methods. There are probably much more that, I don't, that yeah, I'm unaware you can, of. You can do them out of up air. You can do them out of most throws. I know uh, I know the um, like the shield grab hold A method. Yeah, you can do them out of, uh, out of grab. That up air is strong. I Jesus. think you can do them out of like a more, th it's another aerial besides up air, but I just know up air is the easiest one because that yes. moves crazy. <laughs> it's fast, it's destroying, it has a million billion damage. Yeah. Plus, you can disguise it really well. And it combos out of Squall. Yeah. And it combos into itself. God bless. Yeah, that's someone said the character needs it real bad. I mean, so did uh, up air's been <laughs> all right, but ooh, that's tough. <laughs> that was the most nothing sound. For that up air to connect, he's like, ah! Nan, Nan is really sad. Also, I didn't even look at the stock count. Uh, Fawn is up of stock here. Yeah. I mean, Sopo, we'll see how long it lasts. Sopo's not really up. Sopo too much is. Sopo is better. Least, yeah, Sopo, Sopo and Ultimate, at least, is surprisingly hard to lock down sometimes. I can't explain why, but I've definitely gone whole. Alright, felt that. I've definitely gone whole stocks just not getting touched. And before I finally do die, just like take them 1090 and above. I mean, you, it's the benefit of giving more generic hitboxes to some of their options. Like, as we touched on up air before, Ooh. it just works out of down throw, whether you're Sopo or whether you're uh, the full climbers. And look at this, it's like you've got some. You've got, got some, some game. Back to, that gun's very strong too. Yeah, that gun's crazy. Uh, you've got some game against uh, numbers uh, with the drop zone icicles, just like doing chip damage. Like, it's slowly building up. Numbers has the counterplay just to put out a hitbox. Now, imagine if Icicle couldn't be just hit back at them by anything. That would be so funny. That'd be really terrible. Uh -oh. oh, you are so po for a while now. I guess that's the... You're so po until you win or yeah. go home at so third. So po for the, until the end of the game. Put the down throw into the hop air. Oh, oh the plot drop forward air was there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. Pull out the to... wall of it. All right. Oh, you know, I, it. I respect she it. wanted it. Wow. She still got it though. She still got the opportunity. Oh. Okay, good. Sidebeam makes it back. Thinking about the platform, Squall. still finding the second hit. Squall Hammer doing so much, but you can't threaten off back stage up. anymore. Back you can literally never do so. Instead, she looks for the read oh, and yeah. another forward tilt comes down. A nice little frame kill there. I by don't know John. if that would have also covered get up attack, but it was still it was still a good option in most yeah. scenarios anyway. Fun definitely was hyper fixated on. I can't let this game go long, mm -hmm. so the forward smashes are going to come out, like the the crazy reads, like the big swings, like those are going to start coming out. But I would like to see like a couple more down tilts, just because I don't know if yeah. you've seen the angle that down, down tilt down sends, tilts, but tilts, yeah. ooh, it's hideous. Yeah. But, John, but like you're never really too concerned about Sopo following up after a down tilt, mm -hmm. because like oh, you hit me with a down tilt, I will use all my resources to cover, and that sucks. But you're Sopo, like I'm not really all of that mad yeah um, but that is going to cement our grand finals